Hi there guys, it's Jessica. I'm uh, here to talk about my new iPad. <laughs> so um, I had originally been very interested in getting back into digital art um, and got an iPad 11 inch in, in uh, August of 2019. And I was so excited. I thought, you know, I'm going to really get back into digital art again. And honestly, I just really struggled with the size. Um, that smaller size just didn't work with me. Um, uh, irregardless, I did try to make it work. Uh, I, you know, it's been what, four years? Yeah, over, over four years. And, um, I uh, was literally making like one illustration a year. Um, I, I really wasn't making use of it. I kept trying to get used to it. I kept trying, um, it was an ergonomic, you know, I had trouble um, uh, if I was doing anything besides sitting at a desk uh, with, um, uh, with, a some sort of easel I, it just was not comfortable um and i uh went along with that for four years despite all that i really knew that i wanted to if i was going to do digital art i wanted to do it on an ipad and i wanted to make use of procreate because uh the idea was that it was portable and i wouldn't be tied to a desk um so uh Finally, I was like, okay, um, I've given this a go. I'm going to go ahead and make the plunge and buy the larger size. Um, it's kind of hurt, you know, because that was a lot of money for that iPad, but I had, you know, given it the time. So then I was like, yep, um, I'm going to pull the trigger and I bought the iPad. So the iPad uh, arrived. Um, this was the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, sixth generation. Um, 256 gigabytes. I pulled the trigger and bought this baby. It arrived February 22nd and I don't even think it's been two weeks and I've already just been glued to this thing. Um, all of the problems I was having, the ergonomic problems, you know, I was trying to find comfortable positions to sit on the couch or sit in the chair or sit in bed. Um, and nothing was working to me previously with the smaller iPad. Uh, all of those problems just went away. The, the larger size was exactly what I needed. Um, it It is amazing. I feel like I am, uh, I did digital art heavily for like 10 years. Um, and when I started getting into the doll hobby uh, in 2014, yeah, it's, this is my 10 year anniversary in the doll hobby. Um, I was doing both. I was doing dolls and um, uh, and digital drawing. I used a Cintiq. Um, I used a Cintiq and, and Photoshop. And uh, yeah, I was really into it for those 10 years. I started collecting dolls, uh, ball jointed dolls in 2014. Um, so there was about three years or so where I was doing both the dolls and the digital art. And um, then I really, really started getting into the sewing. And so by 2016, 2017, I was spending most of my time at that point, um, any hobby time that I had uh, working on sewing. And, um, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's been my primary hobby now, you know, since then. So maybe around 2016, 2017, really taught myself how to sew and uh, uh, very eager about it to, to learn and teach myself um, how to sew. Um, and then knitting and crochet came along. Um, uh, actually, the knitting and the crochet I had dabbled with, but it was uh, 2020 when uh, they made us stay home for six weeks, the beginning of 2020 in April, March, April for the pandemic. Um, and so I taught myself how to uh, knit. I had done some crochet, but I really wanted to learn knitting. But anyways, um, yeah, those sorts of things were primarily what I did. And like I said, I made like an illustration um, a year uh, on, this, on this smaller iPad. And I do have for comparison here, 
Um, here's the iPad mini. And then this was the one, this was the 11 inch iPad Pro that I got to make art on. And you can see here's the case for the 12.9 inch. Um, it really is quite a lot bigger. Um, and I, uh, it, it, it definitely made all the difference for me. So I guess I would say if you're looking at um, iPad to make art, go ahead and get that bigger size. It's, it's going to be worth it. Um, and sorry, <laughs> this is where I lost all of my footage. <laughs> so we'll just say goodbye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hi, guys. Been working on a lot of art, loving my iPad, really enjoying it. Just finished this, finished quotation marks. <laughs> I can just keep picking at things and picking at things. I At some point I have to make myself put it down. Um, but I spent a lot of time working on uh, the different textures of fabrics. So uh, this is silk fabrics here. Um, this was Fair Isle knitted sweater. You can see my, my reference here of my Menangenu. Um, so this was knitted and then her, uh, her leg warmers are actually crochet. And so, uh, that was, that was kind of fun to try to work with that texture, um, and really en enjoying just playing around. Uh, I'm not as fast as I used to be. Plus I'm experimenting with things I've never done before. Um, like the knitted texture and the crochet texture. So, um, the one that I did before this, I'll go and we'll look at that. This is a mini Pieta. Um, and I, Again, was playing with the textures. This is silk fabrics and her leg warmers are knitted. And uh, yeah, playing around with the style and um, just really enjoying the process. So I've been playing around with different uh, Apple Pencil covers and I really like this one. It is uh, not overly bulky, but has a good grip. Um, I've also switched out for this metal nib. Oop. I definitely wouldn't use this on your iPad if you don't have something to protect it. I've got the paper, uh, screen protector. Um, but this is my original Apple Pencil. It has my username on there. Um, one of the issues is that it is just thick enough that it won't, it will magnetize on there but it won't charge. Um, and so uh, when I'm charging in between sessions, I have been using this. Um, I gotta be sure to get it right. Put the side down. Um, I've got this little Sanrio um, charger, which I think is really cute. This is the other one I have. It is, uh, I, I like the bulky grip. Um, pardon my, <laughs> my band-aids. Uh, I'm going to the doctor tomorrow, going to the rheumatologist. Uh, my cancer medications have made some kind of previously unknown autoimmune condition flare up. Um, and my oncologist is kind of worried it might be lupus. Uh, hopefully it's not that. And, um, yeah, I've actually started doing the digital art as a way to uh, go a little easier on my joints. And it has been nice for that. I've got my digital glove, so it's got palm rejection because I have tons of problems with making unintended marks with my hand against uh, against the, the tablet. Um, but yeah, anyways, this, uh, it's like a ballpoint pen, so... Uh, you can push your pin down. I don't have the pin in here right now. Um, the thing about it is that when you release it, boom, like that, sometimes it's been known to shoot people's Apple pencils uh, across the room and some have been broken. So uh, when I have my pencil in here and I'm uh, having it go back in, I just keep my hand there so that it doesn't come off. Uh, 
But um, yeah, got my little doggies here. They are kind of angry that this pillow and iPad is in my lap, but they aren't, but <laughs> uh, we must suffer for art. I have just been really into spoiling my iPad, and so I got her this lovely um, uh, leather case. I just, oh, I just love how this feels, and it's got that lovely leather smell. I love how it marks up. Um, I think it's gonna age really nicely, but I love it. It reminds me of my Chick Sparrow notebooks, my journal covers, and how much I love those and just the sensory feel and smell that goes along with it. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, but what I, I, uh, I like about it too is that you can actually, um, it's got this magnetic part here. So this actually is magnetized to the back, um, but if you wanted to, you can take this part off and just use this. Um, yeah, the magnet is really strong. The magnet's really, really strong. It, it really sticks on there. It's hard to get off. But yep, yeah, gotta spoil my, spoil my baby. <laughs> If you were wondering where all the snoring was coming from, it's from my little old bulldog here, the sweet girl, just sleeping away. She got a new blanket. She loves blankets. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to the uh, rheumatologist tomorrow. Um, my joints really started to become very painful, um, especially my hands, but like my elbows and my toes. And since I start, since I stopped my medication, it has gotten a lot better. Um, but uh, I just have this now. All of my joints and my fingers, especially, feel very loose. If the joints feel sloppy. They feel like they're just going to hyper, hyper extend. It's a very and and I did this one here. I did. I ended up hyperextending in the middle of the night, just pulling my blankets up, pulling my blankets up to my chin. I hyperextended the finger and now it's, an, it, it, it has gotten a little better. It's been a couple days, but, um, anytime I try to go back on my chemo meds, the letrozole, then these symptoms come roaring back. Um, you know, I do a lot of arts and crafts and so I was blaming it on that. And, um, but it wasn't just a couple days stopping my medications and I get a huge improvement. So uh, going to the rheumatologist, see if we can get some things sorted out. Hopefully I don't have something like lupus. Uh, letrozole is known to um, fuel or aggravate autoimmune conditions. So it's not necessarily causing the autoimmune, but if I already had it, it's just going to make it worse, I guess is how it works. Um, but, uh, yeah, we need to find something that I can tolerate because I need to be on these chemo meds for at least five years so that my cancer doesn't come back. Uh, so we really need to get something sorted out. Baby, I'm trying to paint. I'm trying to paint. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> Pay one.